Look at no one. Speak to no one. Trust no one. Thanks for showing me around town, man. You have no idea how scared your new city can be. And you have no one you know of. No worries, bro. It's like your first day here, man. I get the drill. You know, new friends, new routines and all. Mmm, uh, the food at this place is awesome, by the way. Best Chinese food I have in a long time. I know, right? Actually, this restaurant is like one of the first restaurants I saw when I moved in here, you know? I love the food. It's like a second home to me, man. Of course. If you'll excuse me, I'll be back. I need to eat some more. Here are your complimentary fortune cookies, sir. Uh, just leave his over there, okay? Your line needed. Shoebox? Dial first number on call list. Stay low. Thought you wouldn't make it this far, Mr. Walker. I hoped you would. Though. Who's this? What's going on here, huh? Why am I gonna die? Patience, Mr. Walker. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm being punked right for the cameras, huh? This is one of those reality shows. So ah, that should be him. Another life pointlessly lost. He's a fast walker than Abraham. Not to mention Bruce. Wait, who's Abraham? Make no mistake, Mr. Walker. Every single word that I speak right now is vital for you to listen to in order to stay. Alive. There are dangerous people after you, Mr. Walker. Dangerous people who will find you and hunt you down. One wrong move and it could cost you your life. I thought my little stint of poisoning that man at the diner should have convinced you. Oh, how serious I am. Wait, you killed that man? No, he's just temporarily unconscious. I needed to get you out of there as soon as possible. Why? Specific instructions have been given, Mr. Walker, to capture you. Dead or alive? Capture me, but what would we want? All in good time, Mr. Walker. All in good time. Right now, I need to prove to you how real the situation is. Look to your left. Over there. Two pillars, pink flowers. Hide behind that wall. A clear view of the diner, I presume. And now we wait, Mr. Walker. We wait for our dear friend Abraham. Tell me what you see, Mr. Walker. Rogoff said he didn't know anyone here. He lied. Who'd he drive off with? The man you know as Rogoff is actually an assassin called Abraham. Who has been recently employed by the criminal organization known as Satrugate. To procure you. Assassin? Criminal organization? How can Rogoff be an assassin? Tell me, Mr. Walker. How much do you actually know about this Rogoff? Well, he just joined the company and he's new around town, so I... Um, I decided to show him around town. And who exactly initiated the conversation, Mr. Walker? Walker?
will be done, sir. Yeah, by the morning. Jeffrey Archer. It's been a really long time since I read one of those. Have you read Kiran Nebu? Uh, yeah, Jeffrey Archer is one of my favorite authors. Uh. Um, hey, listen. Um, are you new here? <laughs> that could have happened with anyone. A pretty unsuspecting person, aren't you, Mr. Walker? <laughs> well, I will try one last time to convince you that I'm speaking the truth. You will receive an email on the phone you're holding. Review the attachment, Mr. Walker. Abraham, Elias Rog of Occupation Spy, Double Agent, Steezes at Large, Character Traits. Hey, you know anywhere we can catch some really good Chinese food? Sure, how about it? How about it? they possibly want from me? I'll tell you, Mr. Walker, I'll tell you all that and more, but our immediate concern here is to get you to a secure zone. I take it that you trust me now, Mr. Walker? Well? Look, whoever you are, nice prank you've got here, but I am not interested, alright? Goodbye. Complete waste of time. Better call the boys and tell them I'm gonna be a bit late today. It's a good thing I already made this. going on? Calm down, Mr. Walker. At least you believe me now. Why are they following me? You will receive answers to all these questions and more, Mr. Walker. Like I said, our primary objective here is to get you to a safe place where we can have a private conversation uninterrupted. Now listen carefully and do what I say to the hilt, Mr. Walker. Because I dare say that your life depends on how closely you follow my instructions. You are have your compliance, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Shit! Mr. Walker! Are you with me, Mr. Walker? Dragon! Big Brad, whatever! Is that true? Keep calm and follow my instructions, Mr. Walker, and you will be safe! Don't you alright, Mr. Walker? Climb the wall, Mr. Walker! Now you keep running straight, Mr. Walker. Wait, so how exactly do you know which direction I'm walking? The phone you're holding has a tracker, Mr. Walker. I'm tracking your every move as we speak. Why have you stopped, Mr. Walker? Could they be tracking me with my own phone? Mr. Walker, you have committed an insanely stupid mistake by holding onto your cell phone. It is no surprise that they found you. I give them less than five minutes to have you run down! Oh, no, no. There's only one way out of this now, Mr. Walker. Pay close attention! I did what he told me to. I lost him. Now? You will find a building with the pyramid on its rooftop ahead, Mr. Walker. Get into the building. You're almost there, Mr. Walker. On your left, you will find the back entrance into the building. Remember, Mr. Walker, there are three simple rules you need to follow. Look at no one, speak to no one, and trust absolutely no one. 
fourth floor, Mr. Rook. I can't do this anymore. I've been running around for hours. Let's be a dream, man. 410, Mr. Wolf. Okay, okay, okay. One last question. What were you are? Can you please tell me what's in it for you? Why are you taking the trouble to help me out? The door is already open, Mr. Walker. I'll be expecting you. Hello. Who are these people? What do they want from me? Why are they following me? How did they find my house? How do they know my name? And this... This mystery called person. What if this person has led me into the very thing I was running away from? Oh no. I'm stuck between a rock and a hot place. I'm so tired of running away. People pushing me around. It's... It's time I stop being a wimp. It's time that I take control. I want out of this. Out of this sick game. I'm not going to hold back any longer. Mr. Walk. In loving memory of our dear friend Raghav, who probably was too fine an actor for his own good. <laughs>